150 cc or actually an 80 cc the 125 cc's and the 150 cc should be basically the same the flywheel marks i believe are just slightly different uh, before you get started you'll need to remove the cooling fan cover we don't actually have to have the cooling fan off this motor just isn't back together yet you also need to remove your valve cover you don't need to remove all the engine shrouds and stuff but you have to have the valve cover off you want to start by rotating your engine until the T mark on the flywheel lines up with this timing mark on your engine. You want to start by rotating your engine until the T mark on the flywheel lines up with this timing mark on your engine case here. When that's lined up, So anyway, the first thing you want to do is get a feeler gauge out. It's the appropriate size for what you're trying to do. I'm going to use a 4,000th of an inch. Check the exhaust valve, or check whatever valve, because you don't want to set a valve that's already set correctly. You're just wasting your time. And as you can see, this won't fit in there at all, so obviously that's too tight. So what I want to do, use a 9 millimeter wrench and loosen this nut right here. Once that's loose, you can turn this bit, and it should turn away from there and create more clearance. Now, I like to use a little bit of oil from a squirter or somehow, just to make sure it's nice and smooth and I'm getting the proper adjustment. Slide your feeler gauge in there. As you can see right now, the slide really easy. It's actually too loose. And then begin turning this adjuster right here. And you should turn it until you feel slight tension. If you turn it too much, the feeler gauge is actually going to hang up. You won't be able to move it. And you don't want a lot of tension, you just want it to be slight tension. It should feel like there's some kind of pressure there, but it's not trying to hold the feeler gauge up. It's pretty easy to understand once you try it yourself. And once you get it to that point, tighten this up by finger, make sure this isn't moving. Probably going to be easy to remove the feeler gauge. You'll need a set of vice grips, pliers, adjustable wrench, something like that because you're going to have to hold this in place to make sure your adjuster doesn't go out of adjustment while you're tightening this nut. And once again, you need the 9mm wrench to tighten that nut. So, put your wrench on the nut. Try to make sure you don't move anything. Sorry, I'm trying to work around the camera right now. And attach your vice grips so you can hold that in place and begin to tighten this down. You want that pretty snug. Don't try to break anything. And you can remove your vice grips, remove your wrench. If you've done it right, you should be able to check with your feeler gauge and it should feel just like it did before. Just slight tension. And that's pretty much all there is to adjusting your valve. Like I said, you'll just want to repeat that for the intake, get the settings you want.